are you riding? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kado. If you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, then obviously you're welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a story time about when I nearly got caught at my dick appointment. I met my uncle. I saw my uncle at my dick appointment. If you guys like tea, then obviously this one is for you lot. Get comfy because we're about to get into the story time. Oh, okay. So guys, this happened a couple years back, so I don't mind. Um, it's not like it's something recent. So anyways, let's just go straight to it because I don't want to waste time. So cool. I can't remember what day of the week it was, but basically I went to go get dicks down. So I've gone to my man's house at the time and obviously I've gone to see my man and you know, while I'm there, obviously, we're going to spend time together or whatever and <clears throat> you know the rest. So cool. I've gone, I've placed in my mind that cool. I'm going to my man's house to go um, just chill with him, spend a day with him, you know, get some of that shlong. And then we're at the house now. We're chilling at his yard. Everything's calm. Basically, he thought he was going to have a free yard, didn't it? Anyways, that was what we thought it was going to be a free house just us. So I've put, I woke up so early that day, ran, left my house and ran to his house. So we're just chilling or whatever. And then before we know, we're hearing the gates open and we're like, sorry, who's coming in? And we see his dad's car. Cool. They're like, that's not bad enough. We're like, okay, cool. His dad's around. But I think his dad was about to go out. He, his dad came home to do something quickly or something like that. So anyways, I'm in the, we're both in the second living room chilling, whatever. We're like, okay, cool. His dad's going to be gone soon. So we'll have time to ourselves in the house. We hear a car horn again. And we're like, sorry, who the fuck is pulling up again? Like, you don't need to be leaving, not coming back. So I'm seeing the car and it looks familiar. Now, my man at the point at that time, let's call him A. Cool. So A's dad, somehow, somehow, A's dad and my dad got to know each other. So this was like apart from us dating, they basically became friends outside of the fact that oh, their children were dating because like we didn't have our families involved in our relationship like that. I find out that my dad knows A's dad. I'm like, okay, cool. But at that point, we're together, so I don't mind. But it's like. I like to keep my relationship out of family because I don't like family getting involved and all of that. And A was like that as well, so it is what it is. But anyways, our parents knew each other. They, I feel like because we was young, they knew like we knew each other or we were friends, but they didn't. No, my parents knew I was dating A. A's parents knew as well, but like. I don't know they just felt like we was young. We weren't nothing that deep. But anyways, our dads became friends separate to the relationship just one day i found out oh shit my dad knows his dad whatever cool so they have a mutual friend we're gonna call this friend so this guy is like this is basically my uncle um i'm gonna call him red cool so my uncle red i see a car that looks like his i'm like sorry is that red's car like that looks a bit too familiar and at this point i'm hoping it's not because i'm like if it's someone that knows me they know my parents they're gonna say, oh, I saw your daughter, blah, blah, blah. And you know them ones where you're not where you're meant to be kind of situations, you get me. So anyway, the car pulls up now and I see my uncle, Red, coming out the car. I'm like, wow. And I was trying to, like, I wasn't trying to be seen. So at this point, even though I was, I was in the like second living room with um, my ex, what name did we give him? I think we gave him what name? A? I don't know. Yeah. So I was in the living room with A. A's dad didn't even know I was in the yard. Let's start with that. A's dad wasn't aware. I knew A's dad was in the house. A's dad didn't know I was in the yard. Cool. Number one. Now Uncle Red has turned up and he's them. So basically there's a window between outside and the living room where I was sat in and he comes to the living room and he's like checking stuff on the outside because he, oh, I don't want to bait it out. Okay. He was checking something on the outside of the yard by the windows in it. And I was on the inside, so he was proper preen, and I thought he was like he could see me, and my heart was beating because I knew if he saw me, it would be a long story of oh, what are you doing here? Because he didn't know me and A were even like talking or nothing. I was like, wow, I came to get that shalong and get dicked down, and yet I'm seeing my uncle at my dick appointment. So he's there, I could just hear him talking, him and A's dad are talking and talking. Fam, this is going on for hours. I was just like, are they going to ever leave? A 
his dad did it now I was in the yard. Uncle Red has turned up and nobody knows I'm in the house. And I'm just there, my heart is beating. I feel at a point my mum was even calling my phone and I wasn't picking up my phone. So my mum's calling me. I can't speak on the phone because Uncle Red is right outside the window, he's gonna hear me. And his dad is in the house as well. I don't know whether I am in his house. If he sees me, he's gonna, he knows who I am, he knows my dad, it was gonna get long. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. So A goes outside to talk to them. At this point, he just stayed outside with them because he was like, we're just trying to like not let them come into the house. So they were sat like outside on the porch kind of thing and we were just trying to get them out of the yard. And except from that, it was just all messy because if I got caught, obviously they're gonna put two and two together it was just long i wasn't in the mood for that talk i was just like for fuck's sakes why at this point i'm just like you know what it is what it is if i get caught i get caught so i'm just chilling now fam i was sat there for like two and a half hours waiting for them to go a's dad and uncle red just kept chit chatting laughing laughing i'm sat here by myself looking like a dickhead so at this point my mom's even calling my phone i'm like you know what do i just go out and just be like fuck it I was here and I'm going home because my mom needs me or do I just burn it and stay? So I didn't answer my mom's calls. I aired them and I texted her. I was like, oh, I'm busy, blah, blah, blah. Cool. So I had that patterned already, but it was how I was getting out of this house. Guys, like it weren't bad enough, Uncle Red comes into the house. Basically, the living room I was in, there's a toilet beside it and I'm sat there. And then I hear Uncle Red's voice. I was like, phew. I knew there was like, if he found out immediately, my dad would be caught they would all pull up to the scene. It was just going to get long and messy because I'll have to stop doing explanations that I cannot afford to explain anything to anybody. I can't explain why I'm here. I cannot explain why I'm at a dick appointment and I'm finding my uncle here. So at this point, I've just like, when I hear his voice, I've just like properly like got myself together, um, done my buttons or whatever. I just chilled so i just sat up and you have to walk through the living room to get to the toilet so at this point i'm like you know what he's gonna see me is done let me just sit down and look normal like i was watching tv because the state i was in before was not looking normal and i'm just sitting there watching tv you know when you're waiting to be caught this was me you know when you pretend you're on your phone and i'm just waiting to get caught i was just waiting and then a comes in and he slightly like closes the door a slight bit and then Uncle Red goes into the toilet, comes out, still decides to chill at the yard. I was like, wow. So, when are you guys leaving? At this point, I'm like, you know what? I came here to get that shalong, but right now, I don't care about getting dicked down. I just want to get out of here and go home. I want to be at home because this isn't okay. I want to be at home. And so, like, three hours later, he finally gets up and leaves. I was like, wow. And you know, like three hours later, we were in we were in the moment when they turned up. So three hours later, that moment's obviously lost. I was just so frustrated. I was like, wow. And you know, like you know, them ones where like you've been waiting for, like you haven't seen your man in a while, so you're waiting for him to dick you down properly. Like you're waiting for that shalong, and then this happens. Are you actually serious? Are you serious? Cheers, uncle. Cheers, Ace Dad for ruining my dick appointment. But anyways, eventually after like three hours they left and then I just went home because, boy, the moment was lost. But anyways guys, that's a quick story time about when I almost got caught, it, he was so close to seeing me. My heart was, be right now I could be calm about it. When that situation happened, I weren't calm. My heart was racing because I started thinking the family meeting that will happen. You see, if you've got African family, Nigerian to be specific, you understand the drama that would happen if your uncle caught you at your dick appointment. And it was them ones where if I got caught, there was no explanation for why I was there. You no, know when like you just know they would just know what you came for. Like I see, I would have got caught, and I mean I don't know if Kiki would be alive today. But we thank God because I didn't get caught. Lesson for everyone, especially when you're young and you're not really sure if you have a free yard, don't risk it. Because you might see your uncle at your dick appointment and that's just going to ruin everything. Let me know if you've ever been caught, if you've ever been walked in on by any aunties, any uncles. Let me know in the comment section below. Obviously it could have been worse because I could have got caught 
in the act but we thank god that didn't happen let me know if you guys enjoyed this story time like share comment and subscribe for more videos follow me on my socials on snap it'll be on the screen and on instagram i'm trying to be more active on twitter now so follow me on twitter as well and yeah except from that guys i guess we're done here and i'll see you in my next video bye Baby. Uh -huh.